Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 2 4 here bringing you another video and this video I just want to go ahead and cover some of the stuff I've been working on kind of behind the scenes uh, and just kind of give you guys a look at, you know, all the cool new stuff that's going to be coming uh, and for tutorials and just in general for the channel and I guess the tutorial world really. Uh, so one of the big projects I've been working on besides Echo Base, I kind of made a whole separate video on Echo Base because it's kind of a huge thing. Um, one of the big things I've been working on with my big projects kind of been something that I've kind of just been doing whenever I have the time really is uh working on basically recreating every war thunder vehicle um or every war thunder ground vehicle uh eventually I may move on to air but at this point in time I'm working on all the air versions or all the ground versions uh basically making them in Minecraft it's uh, a quite an ambitious project really there's tons and tons of vehicles of war thunder so it's quite a bit to actually go through and work through but I think it's gonna be really cool uh, to go through and build them all plus it's tons of new vehicles tons of new tutorials to do uh, which is going to be absolutely insane um, so kind of going over uh, what exactly is going on here you can see I have the tier 1 light tanks all in front of me so this whole section here with the orange outlines it is all the tier 1 light tanks and I've only worked on the tier 1 vehicles I haven't moved on to anything else yet uh, it's just been a slow progress going through them and trying to knock some out today I had some really good progress uh, made I think I did like 10 vehicles today so uh, making a lot of progress but it's still pretty slow so uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at what I've done so far and all that kind of stuff so uh, start off with uh, again as I mentioned this is the light tank line so you can see we have all the lines here and they're Nathan or uh, nation specific so we have the uh, light tanks here for the uh, French we have the Japanese we have the British the Soviets the Germans and also the Americans uh, so just you know all their lines in the respective vehicles uh, some of these vehicles may look a little similar and that's just because War Thunder has like this you know different variants of a certain vehicle so uh, you know Panzer 3 there may be four Panzer 3s that look kind of similar but I've tried to in some way uh, make them a little bit different uh, just so that they're not exactly the same when it comes down to doing tutorials and stuff like that for them um, though they are trying to keep as close as I possibly can as to the actual variant that they're replicating. Um, overall it's uh, quite a big project you can see the light tanks um, all here complete or what War Thunder considers a light tank I know you might see some of these vehicles and all that's a uh, light armored car stuff like that uh, this is what War Thunder is considering a light tank. Uh, moving over here, we have all the medium uh, tanks. Again, not a whole lot. Tier 1 is very much so more focused in the light tank area. Um, but there will be obviously more medium tanks and stuff as we progress down the tiers. Uh, most especially affected by this is the heavy tanks. We have only three heavy tanks that are tier 1 um, in War Thunder. And uh, they're all like that kind of land fortress type design with the multiple turrets and just the pod shape uh, pretty much of them. So... Uh, that's what we have going on with these three right here and then right here you can see the start here of the artillery line or uh, the tank destroyer line uh, which is going to be um, occupied by probably seven more vehicles are going to go in front of these ones um, they're I believe uh, mostly going to be Soviets I think there's a um, British one in there and stuff like that uh, those will all be slowly worked on as well and you know added in and then we have the um, anti-air section as well uh, so that's just one of the projects I'm working on. I'm slowly trying to work through it. I think I'm going to be doing some live streams here and there. Um, basically trying to go through some of these and, you know, maybe build a few vehicles of these uh, for this uh, project. Kind of in stream and stuff like that. Um, some of these vehicles have been taken over from previous designs I've had. Uh, but a large portion have been modified. So I'd say probably about 90% of these vehicles have actually been, um, you know, basically built from scratch and I would say probably about 5% have been just copied over left here and then 5% have been copied over from other tutorials and are going to be completely redone uh, but again as I mentioned a lot of these have been just completely redone from scratch because just you know improving designs and stuff like that to make all these vehicles better and you can see it's quite a uh, impressive view that's for sure taking a look at all these uh, vehicles and stuff like that it's pretty cool to look at and kind of visually see all the vehicles and War Thunder and all that stuff um, so that's kind of the big thing here. Um, another thing that I've been kind of working on a little bit in the shadows here and there is, uh, let's see, it's right here, is a redesign for the Fletcher. Um, this is something that I've been kind of wanting to do for a while now, and I finally kind of started work on it and have been slowly working on it. It's definitely been slow, but 
uh, it's definitely coming together and this is a complete redesign of the Fletcher uh, making it more two to one type compatible so uh, you can see the the uh, lining on the side here these um, <coughs> kind of railings here um, are all kind of more two to one type design and just a whole lot more detail a whole lot more kind of detail oriented stuff for it and um, just a whole lot better really in my opinion uh, so I think it's looking a lot better. It's uh, definitely still a huge work in progress. A lot of stuff to be done on it, but just a small, or I say small, but just kind of a project. It's kind of been, you know, working or in the works for, you know, in the background for quite a while now. Um, I think maybe some of you guys have seen it in a video I've done, um, I think on the Panzer, uh, the one Panzer three variant over there. So, uh, you know, it is a work in progress and something that will probably take some time. And you can see compared to the other one, um, this one is just a whole lot better that's for sure shaping and just more accurate and size and everything like that uh, the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be flying across my world basically to get over to the other side to show you guys um something i've been working on as well and um, i'll see you guys in a second all right guys so we arrived to pretty much where i wanted to go ahead and take you guys um another thing that i've been working on slowly in the background has been pretty much redoing a lot of my modern warfare american um aircraft um, you guys have seen, I've kind of worked on, I've done a new tutorial for this uh, Bell helicopter. And I've also uh, recently gone through and completely redone this um, uh, Venom, I believe. It's the upgraded version of the QE, the more modernized version. Um, I've also went ahead and upgraded my F-22 Raptor. Um, that's been something that's kind of been seen on here for quite a while. So hopefully that'll be coming somewhat soon. Uh, completely redesigned for it a lot better overall i think and um, just overall really happy with it uh, we have the new offspray which is basically a complete rebuild um, compared to the previous one a lot more detail better shaping overall added to it and um, just think it looks a whole lot better um, so new offspray and um, that's pretty cool it got the whole landed version as well as you can see down below here and of course the ramp here on the back for you know troops entering and exiting, exiting it uh, another thing i think you guys are going to be really happy about is the uh new design for or the apache um that's something that you guys all voted on for the 15,000 subscriber special that's what you guys voted on and so the apache um is pretty much ready to go for a tutorial as you guys can see it's pretty gnarly looking um, i'm pretty happy with the way it came out it's pretty intense looking uh definitely it looks like an apache and it looks like it, it looks mean uh, that's for sure uh, so there will be a tutorial for both the in-flight version and the landed version as you can see here since the landed version of the um, Apache does set at about a, a little bit of an angle so uh, you can see we have both versions and both versions will be coming as two tutorials so we one tutorial for the airborne version and one tutorial for the landed version um, I've also again been working on a few jets here and it's pretty much all I got so far with the American line trying to uh, redo some of these aircraft and pretty much restructure the whole uh, American line uh, So that's what's been going on there. There's also been some changes to the uh, Soviet um, Line uh, just been some reorganizing or um, I should say Soviet but also the Russian line been kind of or reorganizing this and everything like that Also another big plane coming in the near future is going to be the Arvel uh, Vulcan or the uh, I think it's the Arvel uh, Vulcan uh, pretty nice vehicle. It's a patreon request. So it will be coming out uh, Hopefully by the end of this month is kind of my goal to get it out by and this thing looks freaking mean um, I just absolutely love it. Um, I think it came out fantastic and is definitely probably one of my best uh, Modern warfare aircraft I would say so far of course you guys can be the judge of that But uh, you can see the landed version here. We even had the ladder to kind of get inside there, which is pretty sweet and um, Of course the airborne version you can see right up here without the landing gear and all that stuff and um, again, it just looks absolutely mean and um, again really happy the way that came out and that's uh, Hopefully uh, going to be coming soon as well Here we arrive at another build that has been kind of done for quite a while now And it's just been kind of seen here waiting in the tutorial really um, and this is a one to five scale version of the USS Enterprise uh, an awesome build um, It's definitely huge um, even at one to five scale this thing is absolutely massive and of course with that comes a lot of detail uh, this is a project I believe I did show in my live streams however I just want to kind of show it again in the videos this is something I would like to get out this summer hopefully sometime uh, this thing is absolutely sick and maybe even work on some uh, mini one to five scaled uh, aircraft or something you could put on it as well uh, as you can see it's just 
it's just awesome uh lots of detail went into it lots of obviously you know pictures and research and stuff like that to get this thing to actually look you know as close as i possibly could get it in this you know small scale and honestly i think i pretty much nailed it um it just looks fantastic the detail on it um just you know everything really it's just you know awesome i've looked at lots of models for it and everything like that i think the bridge is definitely just <laughs> crazy with the amount of stuff going on with it it's just like it's something that just like that's crazy uh just with the amount of detail and all that so uh again this is another build that's kind of been done for a little while i just want to kind of show it off for you guys in case you guys uh were completely unaware of its existence because i can think i only showed it off a little bit in a stream and also a little teaser i posted for like st patrick's day or something like that uh with it in the background but um that's pretty much uh it for that and i think that's about it i'm going to go double check real quick and see what we got going on and let you guys know if there's anything else so I honestly think that's about it really. Um, I think the next main thing that's going to be worked on hopefully as well is uh, kind of revamping my American Modern Warfare line. I think a lot of vehicles in here definitely need some uh, TLC tender loving care because uh, I'm just, you know, going through it and looking at it sometimes it's like, yikes. Um, especially compared to the uh, Russian Soviet line right behind it that has been fully kind of redesigned basically from the ground up with a lot of its designs. It just kind of looks a little like, well, what's going on here? You have them, you know, these awesome looking builds and then these, you know, subpar ones. So that's something that's going to be done in the future. A lot of things going on in the tutorial world. And I just want to show you guys exactly kind of what's going on in the tutorial world. Give you guys a look at some of the tutorials hopefully to come in the near future. Again, I don't know when any of these will come as tutorials. So if you see something you like, don't be, yeah, you know, asking for it. Uh, the Apache obviously will be coming very soon as it was the 15,000 subscribers special that you guys voted on. Uh, which thank you to everybody that went out and voted for that. I really do appreciate you guys, um, you know, interacting and, you know, helping me out with that and making that decision. And um, your wish is my command. That will be coming out as the 15,000 subscriber special, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, other than that, guys, that's going to really do it for this uh, video. I just want to go ahead and make a video showcasing some of the new projects I'm working on, some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, builds and stuff like that, and just give you guys a, you know, general idea of, what to expect kind of moving forward with um, some of the builds and tutorials hopefully coming out and some of the possible live streams as well uh, that will be going over some of the War Thunder vehicles. Also, it gave me an excuse to test out this new green screen, which is, in my opinion, pretty dang sweet. So uh, I think it'll be pretty cool, especially in live streams having this. So um, just be pretty awesome and pretty chill. So anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Um, if you guys did enjoy, obviously feel free to go ahead and leave a like on the video. And uh, let me know what build you're most excited to see um, moving forward with, um, you know, tutorials. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys very soon with my next video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett Tupo, and I'll see you guys next time.